Hi, my name is Grant Hobson. I work as a finance analyst. Uh, today I'm going to talk you through some business maths uh, calculations and ratios. How to calculate productivity. Um, when we're calculating the productivity, we usually do it in terms of the output per labour hour. Uh, it's deemed a better way of calculating is to use the hours worked, the man hours worked, as opposed to the actual number of people that you've got. Um, it's a useful calculation for companies to analyse the performance of different teams on different production lines, uh, different uh, sales personnel, uh, different sales teams to see actually how, how many sales are generated, how many units are being produced um, with the time that's being put, on, put into it. Um, we're going to run through a calculation now just to demonstrate how we'd work that and what use we'd then take from uh, the outcome of the calculation. So in terms of calculating the productivity, there's three simple steps to follow. So the first step is uh, determining the total output. So this is either in units or monetary value. Um, for the calculation, I'm going to use units. So that will be, for the first example, is going to be bicycle production. So the units are the number of bikes that have been produced in a month. Um, step two would then be to uh, determine the total number of man hours associated with that production. So it's not only the, uh, the labour that is on the production line who is compiling the, the bikes, it's also any sort of management overseeing it. Any, any other people within the company who are associated with that part of production are included as the total man hours. Um, and the final step of the calculation is simply dividing uh, output by the number of man hours. So in example one, we're going to take bicycle production. Uh, I'm going to say that I've got 20 employees, um, each would put eight hours into this uh, production. So it's simply eight times by 20. 160 hours and then my monthly output. So for this um, bicycle production, I'm going to say that I made 30,000 bikes. Which gives us a productivity of 9.3 units per hour, which is simply the monthly output divided by the total man hours. So the, with the man hours being the number of employees and then the number of uh, man hours per employee. So what a company might want to do is look at this say on a uh, monthly basis. So seeing if the bicycle production, if the units per hour is increased month on month or whether it's decreased. So then we're looking at the efficiency of our lines whether the management uh, on the lines is um, doing the job they should be doing and whether the personnel on the line are up to the standard that we need um, to get through the, uh, the units that we want to produce in the month. A second example, we're going to take a simple one where we're comparing one team versus another and this is for where a team's car washing during a, a weekend period. So I'm going to say that TMA's total man hours um, was 80 hours. Total cars washed was 135. This gives a, an output of 1.69 uh, per labour hour. Team B, alternatively, was a bigger team uh, and they spent 130 man hours. And they washed 190 cars. So although it was more cars, it was actually only 1.46 uh, per labour hour, which was a poorer performance than Team A. So as a manager of both of these teams, you might want to compare the output of one with the output of another and look at whether it's the ways of working, whether it's the people in the team, as to why the performance is different. Um, and companies will constantly look to increase their productivity and the savings and the efficiency on, on the lines and in the ways of working. Um, most of that's done by increased automation of the production line or computerisation, uh, which minimises the tasks that are done by um, manual labour. Um, so just simple calculations like this can help them look for the weak points of where improvements can be made.